Story 1. Vanessa, are you here? I'm here all the time, Reven. You haven't been in the conversation for almost three days. Sorry, my friends. Okay, all right. It seems like you want to tell us something, right? Yeah. But first, I'm sorry for disappearing for three days. Okay, skip that. Tell us what happened, Ed. Well, I played an obby game. Then, I met a boy. So, so you, you both, both are dating, are dating huh? how? Yeah, I have a boyfriend now. This is fantastic. We've been waiting for this day. Add him here, Raven. Okay. Harold was added to the group. Hello, why am I here? I added you in. And these girls are my close friends. Okay. Good morning, everyone. What on earth is this, lol? He looks ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Okay, sorry. Perhaps I should leave. Girls, stop. Why are you insulting him? It's okay, Raven. I'm all right. And at least we have each other. Perhaps someone else doesn't have anyone. Hey, hey are you mocking us? Are you mocking us? No. I just said so. Perhaps my words made you too triggered, huh? Shut, Shut up. up. Harold, I don't think you know how to be sarcastic. I really don't know how to do it. Okay, fine. Girls, can you please treat him nicely? Okay, maybe. Thank you. But you told me that your friends were so nice. Yet they were quite rude to me. Because they thought my boyfriend was a poor bacon. What's so wrong with a bacon? Does that matter? No, please don't mind anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Me too. Tell them your name. I'm Harold. You can call me Harry too. I'm Vanessa. I'm not going to tell a bacon my name. And I don't even know why you like him. He's bad looking and poor. And I'm sure in real life, he looks like a stag beetle. Hey, that was even more than enough. What the heck is wrong with you today? Nothing. I'm fine. Now I understand why no boy wants you. You are such a toxic hen. I'll slap you in the face. Harry. Iris, enough. Stop it right now. Never. I think we have one way to know if he's ugly or not. How? How? Face reveal. Hey, that's a great idea. Harold, will you join? Show them how handsome you are. Yeah, I'll join. But not to prove anything. Raven, go first. Hey, don't command my girlfriend like that. You are not her parents. Shut up, Hal. It's okay. I can show my photo first. No, I'll do that first. But before that, I want to know Hal's age. We're all 18. I'm 19. Whatever. I hope you didn't lie. Look at me. Am I not pretty? And this photo is very artistic, isn't it? You look tired, lol. Hey, I didn't ask you. I agree with Hal. Vanessa, don't say that. Your words will upset her. Whatever. Who's next? Me. Here I am. Wow, you look stunning. Even more than me. Nah, you're the prettiest girl in my eyes, Raven. No offense, Vanessa. Fine, I understand. All right. You'll find a boy for yourself soon. Thanks, Hal. Who's next? My turn, please. Yeah, show us how pretty you are. Hey, <laughs> okay. 
My angel. Love you. Yeah, Raven is always stunning. Oh, Vanessa, please don't love me. No, I'll love you. Hal, will you break up with her? Because I really love Raven. Stop that stupid conversation. Cringe. Come on, you are such a mood destroyer. Whatever. How? So your photo. Okay. How do I look? Beautiful boy. My boyfriend isn't bad looking at all, is he? Yeah, nice photo. Wow, this bacon boy is handsome. Do I like him? No way. He looks like a toad, lol. Yeah, your words aren't worth my concern. Erk, I hate you. Iris, stop causing trouble. I hate you too. Hey girls, stop fighting. Who wants to do a video call? Me. Me. Not now. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. Yeah, we'll do the video call without you. They all joined the video call and left Iris alone. Meanwhile, Iris. Perhaps I was wrong. I shouldn't have insulted Harold. What am I thinking? I like him, for real. But I can't tell him. He's Raven's boyfriend. And I don't want to be a boyfriend stealer. There is a moral limit that I can't cross. Or maybe I can. Raven, I'm so sorry. But I need you to break up with Hal. Iris then joined Brookhaven. Follow me for free Robux. Does anyone want a large amount of free Robux? What? Nobody wants it. Hello, I just followed you. Please give me some Robux. People hate me because I'm poor. Pity. Okay. You'll have what you want. Really? Yeah, but there is one condition. Please say it. I'll do whatever you want. All right. Listen up. You and one of my friends have the same kind of avatar. So I'm planning on getting you to say something. Then I'll take screenshots and show my other friends. Can you do that? Okay, maybe that won't be a problem. But please don't forget to pay. All right, I'll pay you. And now, change your username to this, K-H-N-G-G-M-C-N-H. Change your avatar too. You should look like this. Use this Robux. All right. Jenko changed his username and avatar. Good. Let's start the plan. I've returned. Nice. Now, I want you to say this. I beg you, please don't tell Raven that I love Vanessa. Okay. I beg you, please don't tell Raven that I love Vanessa. Well done. Take your reward. Wow, 10,000 Robux. Thanks. Can I leave now? Go away. Iris went back to the group chat. Hello, my friends. I'm back. Yeah. What snack did you have? What are you saying? I wasn't hungry. You said you were hungry and needed to go out for a snack. Oh no. Perhaps I really said those things? Yeah, that's right. I ate a blueberry jam sandwich. By the way, Hal texted me. And he said he wanted to tell me something. What? I didn't. What are you talking about? Calm down, Hal. Don't be triggered. What did you tell Iris? I didn't tell you anything. You're such a liar. 
I don't even know who to trust. How confusing. Trust me, Raven. He said he didn't love you and only used you for Robux. What? Did you really say that? No, I'm not that kind of person. Have I ever asked you for Robux? Yeah, this time, I trust Hal. You won't trust him for longer. Because I have evidence. What game are you playing at? Stop it. See this for yourself. Iris showed everyone the fake evidence. Oh, it's quite a shock. Hal, I really loved you. But you let me down. Let's break up. In mind, yes. What? You don't trust me? How can she trust you after seeing the truth? You created that fake evidence, right? Why must I do that? Because you always hate me. Hal makes his sense. Enough! Stop talking! Harold, I'm saying this again. We're over. It doesn't matter to me anymore if you love someone else. Or someone loves you. Do whatever you want. Wait, at least let me explain. Raven left in angry. Ha ha ha. She left. Shut up, you psycho. You did that, right? I'll never tell you. Whatever you do will be futile. Iris, why must you did that? This is not you. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. Because I love Hal. And I'm sorry for being toxic to you. Please love me. I can make you happy. Are you kidding me? That makes no sense at all. You insulted me before and now you're saying that you love me. I know, but ah. Uh, after seeing your picture, I already love you. That's why I created that fake thing. Now what? Would you give me a chance and love me? Cameron, get the hell out of here. You are beautiful, but you are so crazy and toxic. Curse you. I hope you'll stay single for the rest of your life. I'll get the hell out of this stupid group. I've never seen him like this before. He went crazy. I failed. A few days later. Please, Raven. Unblock me. I'm innocent. And I really love you. Raven, here you are. Please, listen to me. I can explain. Okay, you don't have to say anything. I'm sorry for being rushed. And thank you for still loving me. Huh? What? I don't understand. Iris told me everything. She admitted that she did those tricks to ruin our relationship. Oh, at least she spoke out the truth. And she also said that you caused her emotional damage. Yeah, I was so angry. Perhaps you'll become such a fearsome person when you get angry. I hope I'll never have to see that. You'll see it if you don't love me and insist on breaking up. All right, I love you. We are not breaking up. I'm sorry, Hal. Yeah, I forgive you. And I love you too. Raven and Harold loved each other again. But about Iris. Hayes, even Vanessa abandoned me. What kind of person have I become? Ha <laughs> who? Hello. Who are you? 
It's me. I'm the one that you gave Robux for free. Don't you remember? What's your name? I'm Jenko. Oh, yeah. Maybe I remember you. What do you want? Can I be your friend? Yeah, all right. You came in the nick of time. All of my friends abandoned me. I caused them trouble. Oh. How did you get this new look? Well, I used all of the Robux to gamble. And you know what? I'm super rich now. Wow, good for you. But before we continue talking, can I know your face? Yeah, no problem. You look beautiful even when you're sleepy. Oh, come on. Don't tease me. Nope, I mean it. And for an unknown reason, they started dating. The end. Story 2. I always want to have this. This comes from a well-known brand. And it's mine now. I'll try this on my hair. Ha ha. I look great. Maybe mom would love to see this. Mom, look at me. Mike ran down the living room. Mom, how do I look? Do you like my hair? Yeah, great. You look very cool. He looks like an ape. He and his brother are so annoying. And I don't love any of them. Mike used his mind reading power and heard everything. What did you say? Why do you hate us? Hi, who are you asking that? Me. There are only you and me here, Mom. Ha, why are you asking that? Of course, I love you, Mike. Please don't lie to me. I can read your mind, Emily. I want to slap him. You say one more word, I'll leave this house. I'm so tired of your dad. What? You have a lover. Whatever. Stop asking stupid question. I'll get out of this stupid house. Ciao. Emily packed her things and left. But the good thing was, Mike wasn't really sad about her bad mommy. Yeah. Whatever. I don't really need her. Let's talk with Emil. Hey. You little squirrel. Did you just say my name? Yeah. Can we talk for a while? Not now. Not now means never. I'll leave this house too. Mike used his mind reading power again. Are you sure with that decision? What decision? You're coming with mom, right? Can you tell me why? Nope. And I didn't even care how you knew what I was thinking. This is my farewell gift for you. Thanks. What's inside? Just open it up and then you'll know. Ciao. He left. But at least he gave me a gift. Let's open it up. Oh my freaking god. Get the hell off my face. Emil, go to hell with that evil woman. I hate all of you. By the evening. Welcome home, dad. Yeah. Where are those parasites? Parasites? You mean Emil and my mommy? Who else? They left. Ha ha, good. What is this attitude? He seems so happy. Why didn't you leave too, huh? You're not my son anyway. 
Mike used his mind reading power the third time. Excuse me. Can I go out for a while? Whatever. I don't really care. At a random place on the street. Hayes, things keep getting crazy. I didn't even know how I got this mind reading power. It brought me a lot of trouble. First, I knew that my mom didn't love me and my brother. She cheated on my dad. My brother didn't care about me either. And the worst thing. I didn't know who my father was. After that, Stranger showed up and talked with Mike. Hey, are you okay? Not really. But thank you for asking. Perhaps this boy's adoptive father went out to buy some milk and never returned. Maybe he got a plan, accident. But don't worry, son. I'm back to take care of you. What? Are you my real dad? Huh? What do you mean, little buddy? You're my real dad, right? I, uh, I don't really understand what you're saying. Please don't try to lie. Are you my dad? Just answer me. Yes or no? Well, yes. And I'm sorry for leaving you for so long. Why? It's hard to say. Besides, I don't want to share that. Can I not answer? Okay, but ah. Uh, why are you back now? To take care of you. And in case you don't know, that house is mine. I've returned to take it back. Wow, that's crazy. But Mommy and Emil went out. There is only Malcolm left in that house. So he's still in my house, huh? I'll deal with him. Yeah, please deal with him. He's not my father anyway. Okay, I'm doing it. Let's go home. Yes, Dad. Back to Mike's house. Hey, what took you so long? Cook me something. I'm hungry. Oh, what the? Playtime is over. I'm kicking you out of here. No. Yes. yes. So long. Yeah, this house is mine again. And you know what? No, Dad. What could it be? Your mum and Emil came to my house. They wanted me to take care of them. And did you agree? Guess it, son. Hey, let us in. We have nowhere to go. Dad, please. Who, who, who? Is that so? Yes. yes. Well... I missed the part where that's my problem. What does that mean? I'm kicking you out of here. No. no. Yes. Yeah. That was brutal, Dad. I didn't know that you were a fan of Bully Maguire. Yeah, that's right. I'm his fan too. Good, let's go out. I'll buy you a reward. Wow, how awesome. I'll get the car. While driving. What do you want to order? What do you have today? Everything on the menu is available. Give us the best meal. Understood. On the way to the new house. Mike, what do you want to have? Some bold seafood with Cajun seasoning. Back to his home. I'll make it for you. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Let's do this. After that. Wow, that was the best meal of mine. It's good that you love it. By the way, can I ask you something? Sure. Who is made? 
the owner of this house. Not anymore. I bought this place. Are you kidding me? Nope. This place is mine now. Get out of here. I don't trust you. You have to, and I'll take Mike with me. Are you joking? Nope. Okay, but let me talk with Mike for a while. I'm sorry, my son. It's okay. I always love you. I love you too. Take your rest. Okay, Daddy. Sleep, Sleep tight. tight. The following day. Good morning, Papa. Are you going back to that house? Yeah, we'll meet again. See you then. Mom, who is that? I'm Nora. We'll be siblings. Yeah, great. I hope this boy will like me because I like him already. I like you too. What did you say? Nothing. Don't bother. Are you two okay? I guess they both are fine. Let them get familiar. Thank you. You and Nora will sleep in the same room. Is that okay? I, I would, would love, love to. to. Yeah, go back to your room. There are only two of us here. Yet, yeah, let's enjoy our privacy. A few minutes later. I guess one of us is hungry. Want some popcorn? Why not? Do you want to date me? Well, I do. Perfect. They had some popcorn. Good, Good night, night, baby. baby. Mike then decided to tell his mom about what happened. Let's tell our mom about this. I agree. Mom, mom we have, we have something, something to tell, tell you. What is that? And why did you both say it at the same time? Can I date Nora? I hope you will agree because we don't share the same bloodline. Not a big deal, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Happy day. Mike kissed Nora while she was sleeping. Do it again. Oops. I woke you up. Haha, <laughs> no problem. I can go back to sleep easily. Please do it again. Okay, I'll kiss you on the lips. But was that reality or just a dream? My god, that was just a dream. I have no girlfriend. Wait, so that means dad is still here. Goodbye, son. I hope we'll meet again. No, dad, don't leave me. But Thomas still left. Hayes, what a fake happiness. I must accept it. Get in. Hello, I'm sorry for breaking your heart. I love you, son. Okay, I forgive you. Thank you. Hang on, I brought some people here. What? Who could it be? You'll know it soon. Come in, guys. Oh my freaking god, the girl of my dream. She must be mine. You are so adorable, Mike. Thanks. Can I sleep in your room? Sure. Why don't you sleep in my room? I don't think I have to answer. Mom, Dad, would you agree? Of, of course. course. You both are not siblings. You can date each other if you want. Can, can we? we? Yeah. Brother, can you slap me? To make sure this is not a dream. Satisfied yet? Leave me alone. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Nora and Mike looked at each other. 
You're blushing. I think so. The end.